Hello, hello everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm bringing you round number three of the PS Cup Top 256 EU Edition. If you missed the team report or previous rounds, links are down in the description below. But without further ado, I think we should just jump straight into the matchup. Okay, we're into the losers round two. Um, we're going up against Sam, and I can already see his team, and I'm a little bit scared. Um, Has too many similarities to the last one, basically having Intimidate and Tyranitar, and a Milotic. Um, but this far, like, being very real, having Talonflame and Race hasn't really failed me too, too much. I still like Primarine in the back, because there's a Tita, and there's, there's an Arcanine, and that doesn't really make me happy. <sighs> and lastly, I'm probably going to say Rillaboom, honestly. Because his team is pretty fat, so Porygon, like, it can it can, it can can upbreak, but since it doesn't really take hits too well in return, it's kind of oomph. You can also bring a D, because we can kind of shut down the Gothitel quite a bit, but yeah. I guess we, we see if Trigger Room is the strategy that he goes for, it might be, but on the good note, like, we do have Taunt on Teleflame, so there is that. There is that. If nothing else, we can Taunt, and that's the same, like, for his Sylvia, and it has Yawn, um... Yeah, basically, Talonflame can help shut down Sylvia and Milotic and Guffertel because he has a Coil Hypnosis Milotic. Which I hate Coil Hypnosis Milotic, it's so dumb. That's Duran and this is Guffertel. So that's nice. That is nice. That is nice, that is nice. I'm thinking... Um... The thing is, he has ally switch. <laughs> I think he's going to go for it. <laughs> um, I kind of want to just taunt the Guffertel. The thing is, if I go big and I go fire move, he destroys my face. Um, it's kind of the, the problem, honestly. <sighs> yeah, if I'm a fire type, yeah, max rockfall, <laughs> definitely. Um... So I taunt the Gothitelle, and I think, since we know that he's going to go for it, I'm just going to go for fighting move. I want to make myself into fighting type, because then he can't really do too, too much. He actually swaps out. Into Duranus, into my fighting move! Oh. Oh. Um, I'm guessing he's trick me then. Okay. <laughs> I was worried about an ally switch and Max Rockfall. I don't think that's what's happening. And if it's not what's happening, and he actually tries to trick room with the Scarpetil. Oh, we, we put ourselves in a pretty nice position, I'd, I'd say, like right from the get go. Um, um yeah. <laughs> they just grow up with the trick room strategy. That's nice to know. So we taunt the Scarpetil. <laughs> so there's no shenanigans of any way, shape, or form. The only thing you can do is to click Expanding Force at this point. And we max snuggle this Tita, so we also get to plus one on both of these. And with speed control. Probably. I, I doubt he clicked the expanding force. I definitely think that was the trick room through and through. Oof. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Can't use trick room after the taunt. Okay, so that, that was um that was smart. That was smart. That was quite smart. Oh <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. I I feel good right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Durand. I mean, I think I'll just do a wing beat the Gothitelle and I just pyro ball the Durand. I mean, he might, like, the thing is, he could go into Arcanine, but I think even if I go to minus one, I still think um, this Durand gets obliterated. Yeah, that Durand is dead. Even if you went into Argonine, so, you know, it's okay. <laughs> but I mean, he has to try, you know, it, it's what it is, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that should be a pretty dead Durand, a plus one, yeah, of oof. And Gobsel can't take us out, and he can't really do much of anything, and... I mean, we don't do a lot to it, mind you. Um, Yeah, that's that's a dead rand. Because let me tell you, it has a life orb. <laughs> huh. 
So that's that. That's that. Um. So I'm, I definitely think we're going to see an Arcanine next game. Like pretty early on, we're going to see an Arcanine. Mm -hmm. I could see that. I could see that. <sighs> yeah, and he's just expanding Volst. That's fine. That's bad when you don't have terrain. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but it's, it's just a little bit funny that he does have expanding force. I mean, it's good against other psychic spam users, but otherwise, like, you know, psychic is actually stronger. So the sad. That's a Sylveon. We have Steel Spike. We do have Steel Spike, just saying. So we just do a wing beat, and we just Steel Spike the Sylveon. Um... I mean, the thing is, you can see that I have Steel Spike. I think this this is kind of um, a mood point for him. Yeah, Battle Boss can. That, I think that that's that's the right thing to do for his pop because he he would never have gone through this. All right, so going into game two, I am thinking of switching it up into Talonflame Primarina. I should maybe like reverse a little bit because I could see the Arcanine together with the Rand potentially. With what he brought last time. Durand is, like, Rillaboom is kind of iffy. Like, it's not good, but it's not bad. But, like, having Fake Out could be nice. So, the sad. So the sad. I, I hope he switches up a little bit, because I, I did. <laughs> so, if he leaves the save, it's a little less good. I mean, the good thing is, we can live any hit from a Max Durand with Max Primarina, but I don't really want to, like, being very real. You know, that is it is what it is. But he's also more aware now, my taunts and such. I can answer Renatar. I thought we would see a difference. <laughs> I did think we would see a difference. <sighs> it's Renatar, it's weakness policy. <sighs> hmm. This might be a little bit silly, but I'm going to taunt the Akana. I don't really want him to snarl me. Um, we also don't really know anything about the speed of this thing, which I don't particularly like. I'm going to do it into the Tyrannosaur, because I think Akana is more likely to swap out. Might not be true. Yeah, he does withdraw the Akana into my low tick. Into Sylveon, okay. So he brought Tyranitar and Arcanine. Sylveon. I mean, I don't... It's insane. We're not going to take out the Tita. But if for some reason he decides to... To be a little rough to my Tunnel Flame, we, we can kind of get the... Um, get Rillaboom in and revenge it. Quite easily. But I have uh, I have a feeling that he's going to attack my Primarina, not my Tunnel Flame, because my Tunnel Flame didn't really threaten him. So there's that. There is that. And that's like the good thing about Cinderace. It's still a good even if it's not maxed. Um, we are faster than Tita. That's good to know. That is actually quite good to know. But the bad thing is he gets to plus two. <laughs> that is actually quite bad. Not gonna lie. That's actually a bad thing. That is a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Goodness, am I gracious? <sighs> he rock, rock falls into Primarina, I think. Yeah, does it take me out? Plus two. It just barely does. Ah, uh, but I think Sand does at this point. Yeah, Sand definitely does. <sighs> Sand definitely does. No, it didn't. He has quick attack, though. He has quick attack on a Sylveon, and he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it, and I can't really do anything about it. Other than switch out, but do I want to? The only thing I can really go into would be Rillaboom. Hmm... <sighs> 
I'm going to. I think I'm going to play a little bit first. I don't. I think he attacks my 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 talent flame with um. What is his tea tongue? Is it a waste of dynamax turn? Yes, yes it is. I I do sort of kind of wish that I kept with the same needles last time. It would actually been better, believe it or not. Even a minus one, like it would it would have been quite nice. Or at least I've gone like Rilla Boom, Cinderace instead. But yeah, a quick attack. Um. Actually, does a lot. <sighs> but we're going to lose Talonflame. But I'm also pretty sure we're going to pop that... Um, Tita real quick. With the grassy, grassy Glide. Pretty sure, pretty sure. In the rain. We, we brave. Do a lot of damage. I'm hoping, I don't know. Like, unless you swap Sylvia now, which you definitely could, and I think, think I kind of... I was on losing my voice suddenly. Um, the thing is, if I want to play into him doing that, it's kind of the thing. <laughs> that is kind of the thing. Because, like, Arcanine is semi-obvious. I could also do it the other way around. And steal spike the or steal the the Tyranitar and grassy glide the Sylveon. I mean that doesn't really change anything, honestly. Um, we already have the Sylveon. I know it's going to swap. It's okay, and we grassy glide the Tita. I think it's the smartest thing. Like he's going to get a man. Uh, oh, he's not. He lives. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Um, okay, so someone's dying. Someone is dying. That's bad. That is bad. And I think it's Cinerase. Ah, it did become Steel type. That's a plus two. I'm actually surprised it killed me. <laughs> it did become a Steel type though. Um, that's actually very bad. I had Tita not live that, and I had I gone for the high jump kick instead, I'd have been so much better. Oh, I have, I have, I have a two HP from Arena. <laughs> I have a two HP from Arena. Okay. I mean, the thing is, it's not good. How are we looking with Sand? Oh, he still also has the Durand. Actually, we're in such a bad position. It's such a bad position in this game. Um, yeah, there's no point in this. Absolutely not, but we do it anyway. Can't want to just scout how much Grassy Glide will do to the Durant. Yeah, because we're going to lose this. I'm going to go back to the original lead I had because I think Cinerace just puts on all pressure for me. Okay, just over protects. I mean, that's smart because then Primarina goes down to Sandstorm, I think. Or what? Unless Sand stops. I, I did not count turns, but it, I don't think it does yet. I don't think it does yet. <sighs> nope. So my out is that he misses a lot of moves. Which I am, mind you, going to play for. <laughs> if he misses enough moves, there is a chance. Um, but uh, this is not looking good. <laughs> but he has Heat Wave and he has a Durant. Uh, but he does not miss any moves. So it doesn't my it doesn't matter, but okay, it's good to know that one shots basically. Okay, so we're going to game three. <sighs> okay, so I'm going back to the same lead, I think, with some of them scenarios. Or am I? I could honestly also just go scenarios from arena. Potentially I have Talonflame in the back. 
I don't think indeed it just really provides that much, to be honest. Oregon could be decent. Oregon. But at the same time, like, it's really not that decent, so... <laughs> Uh, it's actually some annoying matchups that I'm having in this uh, this time around. Actually, some annoying matchups. I guess we'll see. I guess we we'll see. I guess we we'll see what he leads with this time around. Tyrannus on Arcanine. I mean, it worked last time, so why not? I mean, if it's max and I'm minus one, it won't one shot. But with a type of voice afterwards, it should. It should. Or oh, I just. Yeah, because we're in double, so I should probably honestly move blast instead. Into the Tita. Instead. Just like double it up. Kind of ignore the fact that there's a, an Arcanine here that's not really providing too too much. Like obviously Snarl is annoying. Maybe I should have Hydro Cannon, honestly. Maybe I should have. <sighs> maybe I should have, maybe I should have. I mean I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. If I regret this or not. But the good thing is Primarine is faster. I actually feel like I should have Hydro Cannon even though it leaves me, leaves me vulnerable for a turn. That it might actually have been smarter. Because we're going to probably the weakness policy again. It's not that offensive, or defensive is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Marina, please, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. You will lose me. Okay, I know that's bad in theory, but it's good because it means the Tito's gone. Yes. Okay. Good. That's nice. Because I mean, we we are. You know, not that nicely off, but he lost the Dynamax, and we're still a plus one, and we're burned. So it's technically just like a minus one. And Tisa does put on pressure for my team, especially like being maxed. It's kind of annoying. Um, that means that if he has something like Durant, like he can't mag max. It obviously, means something like Silver and will live my hit, but still okay. I guess it's it's okay. <laughs> also because I think Primarina is faster. Than his Sylveon anyway. So we can do some damage to it first. It kinda of depends on what he brought as the last as two last. Yeah, that's my looting this time around. Interesting. I really dislike my looting. <laughs> really do dislike my looting. Um I'm kind of considering yes streaming it and getting off a faster hyper voice on the Arcanine. Could be nice. Because then, then you know, I'll get a hyper voice off because before he can snarl me. Like he can coil, he can he can hypnosis, he can just muddy water. It's kind of a little bit up to him, but at least like we do have Rillaboom in the back. He's actually still faster. Well, that's annoying. I kind of threw the point of that <laughs> a little bit. Um. Well, that's actually pretty, 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 pretty annoying. That was crit on the logic though. He coils. <sighs> the fact that I critted it. Means that a bounce, max bounce, plus a moonblast might be enough. 
Might be enough. Because he got burned? He has a wiki berry though. Actually, it won't do enough because he has a berry. But if I airstream the Arcanine. And I'm Moonblast. I have to see if it's enough. Otherwise, at least like we get it out of the world. At least he can't snarl me again. <sighs> I don't think it's enough, but it'll be single target and it won't be resisted. That's kind of what I hope. I'm hoping. But I don't know if it's a fool's hope. <sighs> I don't know if it's a fool's hope. It might be a fool's hope. Don't give me a drop, though. No. <laughs> Primarina, you are a bloody moron. I guess he'll recover, maybe? Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. But at least he did use a bear. No, okay, he calls again. Okay. 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 But well, we got Arcanine out of the way. The question is what this last one is. Because at this point, he has a Durand. Okay, Durand is annoying. Especially since Primarina isn't fully healthy. Um, what do I have in the back? Sound Flame and Rilla Boom. I kind of want to just high jump kick the Milotic, honestly, and move blast it again. But I could kind of lose to Durand in the end, which is a little bit scary. Especially if I miss this. If I miss this, I'm going to cry. Okay, we didn't. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, that did nothing. But the Moonblast might do enough. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the question is who he tries to target. He exits it into the Prima Arena. Okay, that's good. I, I'm, I'm fully in a agreement with that because that helps me <laughs> that helps me okay 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 so the real goal is to not miss a fireball because i don't have a fire move on my tail flame that is the goal that is the goal that is the goal that is the goal so we pyro ball and we fake out he can protect it will probably be the smarter thing to do um didn't okay don't miss at least don't miss twice <laughs> don't miss twice okay we don't miss even once so that's nice i think that should check it out it's a durand yeah okay easy so somehow we do actually manage to get out, out of this round after the third game. So we're not out of it yet. We just need to win two more times. And then we are in the top 64. So fingers crossed that that'll happen. We'll see. So stay tuned.